All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create auction bid cards that are numbered within a matter of minutes using nothing but Microsoft Word and Excel. And again, here's an example of 150 bid cards that we made in a matter of minutes. All right, before we go ahead and get started to show you how you make this, I want to point out that I do have a YouTube channel called Printables with Microsoft Word. Um, we have a myriad of videos, everything from wedding seating charts to wine bottle labels. Um, we have trifold pamphlets, bifold pamphlets, numbered raffle tickets. Uh, but more importantly, we do have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install a new font, please watch this video. I think I am using a unique font for this video, and it is just very useful to have. Uh, also, please subscribe to my channel and or like any and all of my videos. I would be so grateful. All right, so let's go ahead and get started to show you how you can create these bid cards and again please use this as an example but you can make any sort of customization any sort of text any sort of logos any sort of colors that you want so please use this as a template and make any changes or modifications first thing we're going to want to do is go to file new blank document and we want to change the page layout up here on the ribbon orientation to landscape and then we want to click on margins of narrow Next thing we want to do is we want to insert that border. So we're going to click on insert, we're going to click on shape, and we're going to click on this rectangle. Now if you wanted a rectangle with rounded corners, you could do that. Again, it's completely up to you. You then want to go ahead and draw um, a box. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to line up these green lines. And again, those are going to be your alignment guides to ensure that everything is centered and um, even. All right, so once you have this centered and even, and again, you can um, do that by clicking. You know that the object is selected by these little white boxes, and you just want to go ahead and select on there with the arrow, and then you want to left click in order to move this around, um, as well as change the shape to make the bigger or smaller to fit into those margins. Next thing we want to do is we want to do shape fill of no fill, and we want to do a shape outline of a gray. The reason why I want to do gray is I want to print these out in black and white. I do not want to um, pay to... Uh, print these in color for our auction. So I'm going to do everything in black and white. And I want to do a shape outline and I want to do a weight and I want to click on more lines. Okay. From here you can go ahead and change this to a six or even a seven point thickness if you want to. Um, you can also change this. I use a thick thin just to add a little bit more detail to there. But you can make any sort of changes or modifications that you want. Next thing I want to do is I want to add our foundation's logo in there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go and I want to ensure that this is not selected. I don't want to have this object selected when I do this. I want to click out of the object so I see the cursor up here and I don't see those little white um, squares. And I want to click on insert and I want to click on picture and I want to insert our Tassajara Hills Foundation logo. Now from here I can't very easily move this around or do anything with it. So you can go ahead and right click, click on wrap text, and you want to say in front of text. Okay, now you can very easily move it around. And again, you can change the size of the object by ensuring that the object is selected. Click on um, this little white uh, square at the bottom and then you can just move it up by holding down your left click cursor. We want to center this and again you can use your alignment guides. And then what I want to do is I want to click on format, I want to click on color, and I want to change the color to a very light faded color. From here you could change it to black and white, you can do a myriad of things. Um, you can also change the corrections to play with that to see what works best with your bid cards and or your logo. You have a lot of options there. All right, finally, it's time to add in the actual numbered bid cards. And again, if you wanted to add in more logos or thanks to our sponsors, whatever you wanted to do, you could do that. Um, something else we did was I printed double-sided last year, and for our gold level sponsors, I had the gold level sponsors on the other side of the bid card. Um, you could do that um, as well. So, but again, let's go ahead and now insert our text box for our numbers. So we want to go insert text box, and we want to draw a text box. I want to click here. We want to go kind of all the way through. We want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. If you wanted to do additional outlines, you could. Um, totally up to you. 
All right, next thing we want to do is you want to click your font. I like Engravers MT. You pick whatever font you feel works best for yours. And we want to make this a 300 point font because we want to make those numbers very readily available and easy to see. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and open Excel to get our numbers because again, we need to number these one to um, 150 or 101 to 250. So I want to go ahead and open up a blank worksheet. What I want to do is type in 101, right? For um, bid cards or auctions, you never want to start at one because the auctioneer can't really see that and you need three numbers for the software. It just works out best that you start in the 100s. Um, but now I want it to be 102. So I need to create a very simple um, calculation where I just do an equal sign. You click down in the second cell, you do equals, you do an open parentheses, click on this A1 box or, or your first value. Then you click on the plus sign and you say one. Basically, you just wanna do this box plus one and then you press enter. And now we have 102. From here, all you have to do is click on the bottom right hand side of this value and you literally press on the, press on the left click left click button on your mouse and just drag it down to however many numbers you want. And let's go ahead and go down to 150. And then let go, and now you have all of your values. Okay. Uh, next thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and right click and do a copy. And we wanna go ahead and click here in the B column and we wanna paste, but when we paste, we wanna paste the values. It's, ensure, it's important that you click down here, go down to paste values, okay? And let me show you the difference. If we just click on 109, we click on this 109 box, we see 109. If we click on this 109, we see this calculation. We can't have the calculations in there when we're merging this with Microsoft Word. That's why it's important to do that, paste that values. From here, then we can just go ahead and delete this column. And again, I just clicked on the column header, right clicked and said delete column. And then from here, you wanna um, put a num for this is the number heading. You do have to have a um, header for this, but that's it, you're done, okay? From here, we wanna go to file, we wanna go to save as, we wanna go to my computer, we're gonna save it in the bid cards, and we're just gonna save this as bid numbers. And we just wanna save it as a normal Excel workbook, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna come in here and we wanna to go to mailings. Okay, again, click on this mailings tab. Then we wanna click on start mail merge and we wanna say step by step. We want this to be letters, so you keep this as default. Click on the next step. Uh, we wanna use the current document and then we click on next step. Now it says what is the um, data you wanna use essentially. So we wanna go ahead and browse and we wanna find that Excel document we just created. I called it bid numbers. We wanna click on open. There's our sheet. That looks fabulous, that's what we want. We had our number columns and then he, these are all the values. We wanna click on okay. Next was write your letter. From here we wanna click on more items and we wanna add in that number field. We wanna click on close. Now we can preview our letter. Well, that looks good. We have our 101, but what we want to do is we want to click on our home because we want to center this. We want to center this both horizontally and vertically. So we want to click on this home tab here and we want to center it. But then we also want to click on our format tab and we want to align text in the middle. Okay, again, one was on the home tab centering, one was on the format tab aligning text to the middle. Okay, that looks fabulous. Next, we wanna complete the mail merge. This is very important. Nothing will show up in Microsoft Word. You need to print to a printer or print to PDF in order to get all the values. So I wanna print to PDF. If you print to a printer, it'll print all 150. I'm gonna print to PDF and then I'm gonna send it off to a printer. So we can call this bid numbers two. And it is now printing. 
And once this is done, we'll go ahead and open up that document so you can see that it printed out all 150 bit cards. And it does take a bit for the um, merge to happen. Again, please don't forget that step. You have to hit print. It will not open up all the different values in Microsoft Word. Again, once we do this, we'll open this. And I urge you, if you did find this useful, please like this video and uh, watch any of my other videos. So here's the bid number two, and here are all of our bid numbers with all of our values. Uh, all right. Well, again, I hope you found this helpful. And um, again, please like this video and or any and all of my videos. Subscribe to my channel. And I do monitor the chat lines if you have any questions um, or comments. Thanks so much.